What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to teach you how to build the V-Line N-Class diesel locomotive. And it's an Australian train, and I also have shown you how to build some carriages to go along with this. Uh, I think it's like the BZN or I think Z, yeah, Z type carriage. And uh, this is commissioned by a Mueller 0229. Thank you for that. <laughs> it's actually his second commission before he made the V-Line Velocity and um, yeah if you want to do commissions you can just check out my Sofi page uh, it costs like $1.99 and I'll build the locomotive and the uh, other um, the coaches to go along with the train if they need it and yeah so anyways guys I think let's just get started on this so first off let's take red wool go that on top of the tracks uh, 2 by 3 and have one sticking out at the ends and then we're gonna go to the middle add um, some scion hardened clay and you want to make this segment 28 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 2 3 32 45 26 27 28 and then yeah just do the rest fill it all in then the other side going all the way to the back and it is double ended alright so after we do that let's take some red wool again just do the same thing that you did in the front to the back of it uh, I think both faces they're gonna be like exactly the same so you don't have to really worry about it and let's add acacia wood stairs in the bottom corners on both sides All right, then let's add uh, the bogey. So it's going to have uh, three axles um, on each end. So we're going to skip this block here and then add two hoppers, skip one, two hoppers, skip one again, two hoppers. And in between the hoppers, let's add a stone brick slab. Same thing on the other side. So just skip one here, two hoppers, and we're going to have three pairs. Then let's add a stone brick slab. And uh, once we're done with that, let's add uh, polish andesite. And we're going to have that uh, diagonal to the one closest to the center. And we're going to have four of them. So it's going to look like this. And then let's add stone brick stairs. and have an upside down one right here <clears throat> so we're gonna skip these two blocks and add five so one two three four five same thing on the other side then we're gonna take a stone brick slab actually no we're not <laughs> forgot something all right for the bottom of this let's add uh, polished andesite going all the way to the very edges it's going to be like the same thing on both sides basically so it should look like this like a giant box underneath and we're going to extend that right here can't reach that part like that and for this side uh, we're going to add just three in the middle right here and then five on the one next to it and between this part we're going to add a stone brick slab like so so this is what it should look like and let's add acacia wood slab in these uh, pockets of air alright so once we're done with that let's take acacia wood slab just add um, let's add two to each side so along here because it's going to be a little bit different uh, once we get up to past the cab like this part over here so anyways let's go move on to the front area so we're going to take a uh, red wool just add that to the um, front corners and right behind it let's add black wool and then red wool again and this time we're going to use a uh, stone just one block of stone 
and then we're gonna go to the front and let's add block of quartz three blocks wide I think it's for the logo and let's take a uh, yellow hardened clay just have that go all the way around so it's gonna be four four blocks long of that <clears throat> and just add a little T on top so it looks like that and let's do the same thing on the other side so let's go over there just add it to the corners uh, black wool after that then red wool again then stone then the front uh, middle three let's add quartz and then let's do the yellow again so it's gonna be four blocks long go all the way around the border and a little T on top and again it's the same on uh, either end and then let's add um, this <laughs> black stained glass like that in these pockets and right next to it behind it let's add a uh, black stained glass pane same thing to the other side and then we're gonna take uh, some more yellow hardened clay just add two right here like that and then we're gonna take red wool and just add that right below the black wool right there and then right next to it we want acacia wood slab so red wool slab oh not there alright so once we do that let's take red wool and add that to the middle three and we're gonna make it three or four four blocks tall okay maybe three just to make it easier and we're just gonna go all the way we're gonna connect to the front and the back together not quite sure which one which places the front or the back or maybe there is no front and back it's just whatever because it is double-ended adding the final layer <clears throat> and let's add the banner for the doorway so it's gonna look like this and basically it's a black banner uh, we're gonna add a red border around it like that and then once we're done with that we're gonna take that banner and add um, two by three of rose red at the bottom and we should have our banner so once we get that just place that right here in the back of the cab and we're gonna have four of them like so so once we're done with that we're gonna take uh, bedrock and uh, this is the part where it's gonna <clears throat> kind of change uh, which part is which so you can tell there's like two vents on this side and there's like one vent by itself on that side so for this side we're gonna skip one and add two bedrocks skip one two bedrocks and it's gonna be the same both sides <clears throat> then we go go to the other end we're gonna skip two then two bedrocks and then skip three and then two bedrocks then the rest we're going to fill it in with red wool alright so once we're done with that let's take uh, stone brick stairs just add three right there on both sides at the sides of the cab <clears throat> And then we're gonna take uh, oak wood stairs, and uh, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna add oak wood stairs right here, and we're gonna remove this block, place it right there. Then right next to it, let's add a stone brick slab like that, and let's do the same thing on the other side. So this time it's gonna be on this side, like that and then stone brick slab right next to it 
And then let's add uh, another brick fence right there. And let's add a coupling, which is another brick slab right here underneath the quartz. Then we're going to take a uh, stone button, add some lights to it. So we're going to add on the sides and one at the very top. Yeah, let's do the same thing on the other side. Bam, the coupling, the lights. And then we need that another brick fence. And also let's add a sign for the number plates on top. Like right next to the middle of the top. And let's go to the other side and do that as well. And I'm not putting anything on these signs because you can just customize it yourself. Or just leave it alone like that. But it, even if it's blank, it looks good. So after we do that, we're going to go to the middle part of this. We have to fill in the roof. So um, what I did was use stone. So let's take stone again. Fill that in. It kind of really doesn't matter what you use for this because it only appears once. We're going to cover it all with carpet so it looks all the same. So the only part it's going to show is right here in this little pocket. And we're going to take gray carpet, fill in the top middle of the cab, and just leave this oak wood stairs alone. Same thing on the side. Then on this side, we're going to add uh, two more. And then uh, right in the middle of these vents, we're going to add two nether brick slabs and just add gray carpet around it and just continue this gray carpet trend till we get to after these vents then we're going to add a single black carpet in the middle and then we're going to continue the gray carpet again then once we get to uh, these two vents we're going to take our stone brick, <laughs> stone brick slab just add two in the middle of them each of them like that and let's add more of this gray carpet right then let's add this uh, little vent actually a little messed up a little bit it should be in all the same like that alright so next we're going to take acacia wood stairs and just have it kind of curve right here we're going to leave a gap between that and the vent and also leave a gap between the other vent as well. And then we're going to take uh, stone brick stairs, just add three in the middle. Same thing on this side. Then we're going to add the gray carpet on top. Alright, so next let's add a logo. So we're going to take. Uh, this light blue hardened clay and block of quartz go directly underneath uh, this big giant vent structure and have a diagonal like this with the blue and then uh, we're gonna add two quartz like that so that's our logo and for the other side it's gonna go the other direction so the words aren't like backwards and it just says V line so just have that logo looks really nice and once we're done with that, let's add more of this. So we're gonna have to add uh, some stairs. So we're gonna add oak wood. I mean, acacia wood stairs, and they're gonna be slightly different on each side. So for the front part, uh, we're gonna add it right in the first half of the second axle, like that. While on the other one, we're gonna place it. Uh, right between these two uh, axles near the middle so like that and then let's fill the rest in with acacia wood slab and we're gonna leave a little hole right here I don't know it's just the way it was just leave that hole each side and then after that for the bottom of the ladder let's add stone brick slab Oh yeah, I need to 
do this side. Forgot about that. Yeah, just adding the stone brick slab. All right, so after we're done with that, we're gonna take ladder and only add this to the front half, and we're gonna have two right next to uh, the bedrock on each side, and then we're gonna skip a layer, just continue this, so it looks like this. Same thing on the other side. So two on either side, then skip a layer, add two, continue it. And then we're gonna take a birch fence, and it's gonna be the same on each side, so just have birch fence, then ladder, then two birch fence, then la the birch again. And then we're gonna have it every other block, hopefully. But then when we go to the other side, we have to change it, move it like that. And that should be it for the birch. So let's do that again. It's a little complicated since it's not gonna be even. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing every other. And then for the side, just two bunched up together like that. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna take white carpet and just fill that in because yeah for this side was fine yeah we're gonna cover up all of it for the railing except the parts where there's an entrance like that so just go all along and oh wait <laughs> before we do anymore we need to add the string I forgot about that so make sure you add the string between all the parts that don't have a ladder and don't put it uh, for the one above the stairs all right so let's add the white carpet railing goes all the way along other side as well And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the V-Line N-Class diesel locomotive. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you had already because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And thank you again for Emuler0229 for commissioning this build. And if you want to do commissions, just check out my Sellify page. I do it for $1.99 now. And anyways guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.